again for all your support. Thank you for writing in. Let's digging, see digging, what digging. we have. Let's see what digging, the digging, digging. what the letter is gonna be about today. Hey, I'm a little nervous. So, I'm a little nervous. Ooh, you a little nervous? I'm a little nervous. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you read it today. Okay. Okay. <gasps> That's a nice long letter too. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Okay, guys. Here we go. Um, dear Pillow Talk. I am a 22-year-old woman. We have these 22-year-old women. We have these 22-year-olds. I don't know. What's up with these 22s? <laughs> um, who has been with her boyfriend now for a year and a half. Um, it all started out fine. Um, we got along really well. We did a lot of things together. Um, had a really nice relationship. Um, she said, now I have... Oh, now I have to say he is 29. He's 29 years old. And he's always been more sexually um, experienced than she was. Or than I was. Um, we always talked about things we would and wouldn't do sexually, and it seemed to, he seemed to understand. But now the fact that I don't go down on him, hmm. it's a problem. I told him from the beginning that I don't do that, but it seems we have grown. Well, he says that we have grown and our relationship should have been changed. That he thought it would have changed or that I would have changed my mind by now. Um, he goes down on me, but I told him he doesn't have to, but he chooses to. I don't want to lose him, but she I have. Gave him. Okay, go ahead. I don't want to lose him, but I have to stick to my guns. Ladies, help me out. Sign, Miss No Going Down. Well, well. <laughs> I don't even know how to first start because um, first off, I wouldn't have given him that opportunity to say I don't want to go down. That's a requirement. No, he goes down. On right, her. but she's telling him that, that he doesn't that he have to. That she don't. Right. So no, I'm not going to give you that option. Okay. But in the same breath, I can understand why she does give him that option because if she doesn't prefer to go down on him, mm -hmm. then she can't expect him to constantly want to to satisfy her that way either. Right. Um, I right. guess I would have to ask her whether or not this is a belief of a cultural thing that she has um, or if it's just something that she doesn't enjoy altogether um, because there are people that have they have their own beliefs they they've been through things they just don't enjoy it mm -hmm. um, so that would be one thing that I would have to um, to ask however you know, they always say what one person won't do, another one, another will. one will. So if she can't get past this, and this is something that he seems to enjoy and, and want based on the fact that he says that I thought by now our relationship had grown and we were in a different space in our relationship that she would have changed. He's, he, he may stay with her, but I can tell you that, again... What one woman won't do for that her man, another woman will. Okay. And so he may venture out. Okay, and I can understand that. But I think that going back to the negotiations, um, at the beginning, you know, I said that's not something I do. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's, it's changed. Different. It's not like right. it's different. You know, you just assumed that... I was going to change. I was going to change. Mm -hmm. You assumed that if you went down on me... After so many times, I would return the favor. But I told you on day one <laughs> that I'm not doing that's that's not what I do. <laughs> so in that in that scenario, and I mean, I would tell her, I mean, if that's what you're not gonna do, that's what you're not gonna do. And if he feels that he needs to go out and find it for somebody else, then apparently that's more important to him than his relationship with you. Right? And that's what I, I I say the same thing. And and I totally agree with both parties because I do agree that what one won't do, another one will. I feel, you know, it depends on where they are in their relationship. Mm -hmm. They've been together for a year and a half, so I'm sure there's emotions and feelings there. And he's not left in a year and a half and right. she ain't been doing it. So I have to say, you know, I, I, I respect the fact that she laid it on the table because I'm a negotiator. <laughs> I laid. I, I respect the fact that she laid it on the table. Like this is what I want. Um, I feel again, if that is what he chooses to do, and if somebody else, you know, does it for you, then again, my relationship and me was not that, was important. Not that important. So I need you to go ahead and go. You know what I'm saying? So don't sell yourself. Don't sell yourself and change your mind on what you want to do because this is what you know what I'm saying. Now 
negotiations were on the table and maybe if you guys stay together maybe as you get older things may d be different i don't know why you know what i'm saying it's just you know something she said she she just don't do well i think but, at this point they need to have a conversation right mm -hmm. um, why don't you like doing you know it? like tell them yeah there may be maybe he doesn't understand what factors are playing into her decision right, right. Um, and a lot of times that's what happens you know lack of communication is a problem in any relationship no matter what the topic is yeah you have to communicate for each other to know why something is happening or why something is not happening you can't assume that people automatically understand right and i have to agree although i did say what one won't do another will it's important that once you have that conversation that each other understands and either he's going to understand why and continue be to be there for you or he won't understand and then at that point it's time for him to move on exactly i agree and i agree, I, agree. I mean again, again you're 22 you're 22. <laughs> Y'all are and, 22 and if you if you watched our last episode you would know how i feel about 22 year olds yeah, you're 22. um you might not need to be settling down you might need to get out there and and see what's out in the world for you and explore you're young mm -hmm. um and you have an opportunity to to do that but i definitely would tell you to stick to your guns. Yeah, if don't you, let nobody talk you into something that you, that just you don't, don't really want to do. Yeah. Because yeah. here's the alternative: what if you decide to do it, you despise it, and then you start to resent him for making you do for it? Making you do it exactly. You know, like exactly. if he's putting pressure on you, like I have to do this because I don't want to lose him. Um, that's the same thing with being a virgin. You know, that's uh, right. true. That's true. we had that conversation because of the young lady on Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. You're a virgin, and if he's you know pressuring you, pressuring, pressuring you, and then you decide to do it, you could learn, you could grow to resent him for it. The so, bottom line is be true to yourself. Be true to your exactly, yeah. be exactly. True to be true to yourself. Um, and love yourself. You know, I'm big on this self. -love. Yes, love yes. yourself. Be true to yourself. Do what you feel is right for you. Um, either that person exactly. is going to accept it or they won't, but that's on them, not you. Right. Okay. I completely agree. So I agree. We thank you for sending in your letter. Yes. Um, yes. I hope we gave you, you some advice that is useful for you. Um, let us know how things go. Yes. Write us back. Welcome. Tell yes. us what happened or and what you decided. <laughs> um, or even if you just need us to give you a little bit more information. Again, these are just our opinions. Um, we love to give our opinions. We love to give our advice. But again, you have to do what's best for you in your situation and in your relationship and in your life. Yes. So yes. again, thank you for sending in your letter. Don't forget that you can reach us at pillowtalk.uncensored at gmail.com mm -hmm. with your letters. Yes, definitely. We want to hear from you guys. Comments, letters. Yes. Also, guys, you know, subscribe to our channel on YouTube under pillow talk uncensored look us up watch our videos subscribe yes. um you yes. can also find us on facebook um under pillow talk uncensored as well as instagram yes we're on instagram as well we're on the gram um and yeah <laughs> just reach DM. out to us in our dm um dm us tell us <laughs>